Hello beautiful learners, hope you are doing very well. This is our sixth video in the free history of English literature video series. Previously we have discussed about Anglo-Saxon age, Middle English period, age of Chaucer and the age of revival. But our today's topic is one of the most important and interesting topics that is Elizabethan period. Elizabethan period is thought to be the most important time in the history of English literature because of many reasons. In this compact video, we will talk about the historical and political background of the era, about the English Renaissance and how it came to England. We will also discuss about university wits, types of the literary works and certainly about the major authors and their famous writings. So watch the full video without skipping and of course do subscribe to our channel if you are a new visitor. So for now, let's make English straightforward. Elizabethan Age The name itself refers to Queen Elizabeth I. Queen Elizabeth started ruling England from 1558 until her death on 24th March 1603. The time is called the Golden Age because in this time England saw growth at every side. Printing press had already came to England and a lot of books were being published during this time. Education was available for everyone, so the amount of literature and art was growing. We also see a cultural and moral uplift in this time. Another important thing is that during the reign of Queen Elizabeth, many English explorers started to travel the globe. So in this way, England came in contact with art, literature and culture of the other countries. Elizabethan period was actually the time when the Renaissance started to form in England. The Renaissance was an Italian thing. Uh, it's a kind of movement in the field of art, literature, education, technology, philosophy that completely uplifted the social and economic situation. Rome was the center of all this. Now Renaissance came to England during Elizabethan age. This was the beginning of the modern world. Renaissance was actually a French word which means a rebirth. People actually started to understand the beauty and the importance of ancient culture and the social values. The Renaissance paved a new way to flourish for the humankind. Many scientific inventions and discoveries were made during this time. Now let's talk about what was the impact of Renaissance upon the English literature and what was the features of this time's literature. Elizabethan period is thought to be the golden age of English literature because many of the evergreen writings of English literature were composed in this short 65 years of uh, Queen Elizabeth's kingdom. Elizabethan literature became the example and inspiration for the entire time. One interesting fact is that novel writing was not there. The most appreciated literary genres of this time were essay writings, pamphlet writings, poetry writing and obviously play writings. Late 16th century is favorite for its poetries and dramas. One of the important concepts you must have to know about the university wits. We will shortly make two detailed videos on the university wits so that the concept becomes clear to you. But here I am trying to explain the thing in short. University wits actually was a group of writers who wrote during the Elizabethan period. This group consisted seven writers John Lilly, George Peel, Thomas Lodge, Thomas Kidd, Christopher Marlowe, Robert Greene and Thomas Nash. They all were highly educated. There were so many similarities between their writings. University Witch is considered as the pioneer to William Shakespeare. If you want to know more about University Witch, please subscribe to our channel and be connected with us. Because as I said, we are making two videos exclusively on University Witch. Now let us focus on the poetry side. 
poetries were also very famous in this time and for the first time sonnet writing started in England. That was a huge move that shaked the entire literary concept. Francesco Petrarch was an Italian scholar and poet of the early Renaissance time who is thought to be the inventor of sonnet form. Much later in England, sonnets were introduced by Thomas Watt and Earl of Surrey. And certainly many renowned sonneteers followed their sonnet writing style. Many experiments were done in the field of sonnet writing. So as we have discussed about all the important aspects of Elizabethan literature, uh, let us introduce some most celebrated authors and their famous writings. Uh, at first we have Sir Philip Sidney, his sonnet collection is named Astrophel and Stella. Sidney also wrote an apology for poetry in 1595. Edmund Spencer was also a great writer of this time. Spencer is considered as one of the greatest poets and famous for his The Fairy Queen. Spencer's sonnet sequence is named Amoretti. And previously we have talked about seven major university wits. Uh, they were John Lilly, George Peel, Thomas Lodge, Thomas Nash, Thomas Kidd, Christopher Marlowe and Robert Greene. Apart from them we can also name of Michael Drayton, uh, Thomas Watt, uh, Samuel Daniel, Ben Johnson, John Webster, Thomas Middleton and many others. But after everything, English literature is nothing without William Shakespeare, who is the treasure of this Elizabethan period. Uh, William Shakespeare is someone whose name itself describes everything. He is immortal because of his extraordinary place, and this is what he remembered for. But Shakespeare's sonnets are equally innovative and heart-touching. He wrote a total of 154 sonnets. Actually, we do not have any right to talk about William Shakespeare in this short video. He lives in the majority of English literature. This is why, after 400 years of his death, we still talk and read Shakespeare. We still enjoy his writings and we are still researching on his life and works. I think you all are same interested in William Shakespeare. So let me ask you one question here. Do you know how many plays did Shakespeare write in total? I repeat the question. Do you know how many plays did Shakespeare write in total? If you know the answer, let us know in the comment box and see how many of you are correct. So in this note, we end this detailed video on Elizabethan age where we tried to clear all your doubts as much as we can. Still if you feel any confusion regarding this topic, comment section is always there. But for now, tell me goodbye, we will be meeting on another slideshow English video.